There we go. Well, this is not Chief Architect version 10, but it's uh, Home Designer Pro 2014. The tools and dialogues have changed in appearance um, since version 10, but the functions have not. So I thought I'd just go ahead and dash this off and, and do a video of it so kind of help you out. And I like to help people. So let's just uh, draw the first floor. I don't care about the wall types because uh, it's mainly the procedures I think you're interested in. I'm going to use straight exterior wall. I'm not going to worry too much about the uh, dimensions. <clears throat> okay, the first floor needs to be 9 feet. I think that's what the default is. So we'll go to Edit Default Settings, Floor, and make sure that the structure is set. Well, it's about 9 feet. We'll set it exactly to 108. The finish ceiling of 108. I'm just going to use uh, 2x12s for the structural platform. But you should all carefully set up your defaults. Okay, so that's the first floor. Now we'll build uh, the second floor, which we'll go build floor, build new floor. We'll derive it from the the new second floor from the first floor, that's fine. And you get this dialog when you set the ceiling. Now you, you've got it at 7 feet, so I'm going to set the uh, finished ceiling to 7 feet. That's just a starting point. Obviously it's not going to build it perfect uh, the first time. Now we need to do the foundation. Huh, I didn't realize I already built a foundation. Okay, the foundation is 7 feet, so again we'll go to Edit Default Settings, Floor. And uh, we'll set the uh, finished ceiling to 7 feet. 7 feet. Okay. Now let's do a cross-section of that and see what we have. Okay, we're getting there. <clears throat> now, you, what you've got is a gable and, all right, let me just put some dimensions in here. Now, you can't always plan on uh, the, these uh, dimension points going exactly where you want, but it's close enough for my demonstration. That's 7 foot, 7 foot, and 9 foot. <clears throat> you go back to plan view. Yeah, I don't want that, uh, I don't want this uh, flat ridge here, so I should have been more more careful with uh, how I drew this. Let's go to the first floor and see, see what the dimensions are, which I didn't pay any attention to. I want uh, auto exterior dimensions. Well, that's why I got a flat ridge, because I don't have symmetrical sides. 26.6, so we'll change this to 26.6. 26 feet 6. Okay, we'll go down to the basement and line that up. Turn the reference display on. A lot of these tools are the same and just some of the icons have, ch have changed in appearance. I'm going to line that up. Like uh, in version 10, you'd have to open the dialog box of the wall to line it up. And now it's in the uh, edit toolbar. In, later versions, but that's, you know, changes have been, have been slight. And we'll move this over, line that up. Well, I thought that would line the roof up. Let me check it. 26.6, oh, I see. It's 28.6. That blasted. <clears throat> Twenty six. What? Six. All right. This will be the last. Okay. Now we got. That gave me the uh, kind of ridge I wanted. <clears throat> I guess. Also, we'll make these gables. Looks like that's. I'm just guessing, but uh, go here to this uh, roof tab. Make that a full gable. 
at a full gable and we'll line those walls up just to be uh, neat and tidy about it. Like I say in version 10 the uh, you have to actually open the wall dialog box to get the alignment tool but in they, since then they've moved it to uh, the edit toolbar. It's basically the same. Okay now we'll do a cross section through here. Okay, that's beginning to look like your drawing. Now this has a seven foot ceiling. So now I'm going <clears> to, <throat> let me uh, go back to plan view. I'll go up to, uh, turn the reference display off. And go up to the third floor, uh, third floor, second floor, excuse me. Now, I'm going to turn auto roof, build roofs off. I turn off auto rebuild roofs. I want the roofs to stay put. So when I open the dialog box in here, see it's set at 74 inches. You've got it at what is that? 11 foot nine. Okay, we're going to uncheck the fault and raise the finished ceiling to 11 foot nine inches. And we're just about done. Now you, you notice that these dashed lines appeared. And that's where the, the flat of the ceiling has been raised to. Those are called, uh, I think in version 10 they're called uh, bearing lines. In, uh, this, this, in later software they changed the name to ceiling break lines, but it's the same function. We'll do a cross section and you'll see that it looks pretty much like what you wanted. Now let's check it with, uh, yeah, we'll use end to end point to point. It'll be quicker. won't be very accurate, but it'll be quicker. Yeah, 11 foot 9. And this will be uh, around about 7. You, get, <clears throat> you have to consider that these, these points are not measuring the actual points, but uh, I just wanted to show you the general procedure on how to get this done. Yeah, see, it says seven feet, but I'm not measuring from exactly. You get the idea. But that's it. <clears throat> it's uh, and this works the same in version 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15, and also Home Designer. Uh, this is Home Designer Pro 2014, and that's how you get get where you want to go. Uh, let's look, let's look at the top floor. Uh, an isometric view of it, and you'll see. Yeah, that's what you end up with. So I hope that helps you. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. Of course, it's easy for me. I use this stuff every day for the last 20 years, so I don't even think about it. Uh, I understand about getting rusty and whatnot. Thank you for your kind attention.